All right, let's turn to Steve Leisman now. He's got a look at the economic outlook in the midst of, of course, the resurgence of the virus. Also, the first comments of the year from a Fed official. Steve. Good morning, David. Yes, yeah, Chicago Fed President Charlie Evans, the first out of the box with comments saying it will, quote, take years to get average inflation up to 2 percent. Sees not being at 2 percent a serious problem. Says policy will be accommodated for a long time and the Fed will be near the zero lower bound also for a long time. Fed will be continuing asset purchases, he said. I think what's important here is Evans is acknowledging progress on the vaccine and the effect on health. But it's so it's important to note he doesn't change his policy outlook nearly at all for low rate and quantitative easing or asset purchases in the year ahead. We also have our first look here for the new year at the CNBC rapid update on GDP growth. It shows both the recent stimulus and the vaccine announcements boosting estimates for the spring. And even, by the way, for the first quarter, as you'll see, take a look at the numbers here. 4.4%, uh, sorry, 4.48% uh, to end the year. 2.8% um, for the first quarter, which is what we're in right now. Uh, and that's pretty good. I think that is flattered by the stimulus bill that was just passed. It probably would have been lower since that's where the virus resurgence happens. And then you can see the second and the third quarter get the boost from the vaccine. Relative to our November forecast, they are quite a bit higher, 1.2% in the second quarter and a half a point in the third quarter. And there's our first look at the fourth quarter of 2021, up near 4.4%, all of those well above potential. Uh, Conrad de Quadro said, Breen Capital, one of our uh, forecasters in this survey, says the risk of a negative GDP print in the first quarter coming from income constraints on distressed households has been effectively eliminated, and that's by the stimulus bill. However, there remain the supply-side impact of state-level mandated shutdowns on travel, dining, and other hospitality. Show you the quick look at the full year, minus 3.1%, and we get it back, and then some in 2021, plus 4.2%. That is a pretty decent rebound for the full year. Michael Ferroli, J.P. Morgan writes, warmer weather and the vaccine rollout should alleviate some of the pressure caused by the virus over time, even if it will take a while for the vaccine to reach a large share of the population. The challenges ahead, of course, include getting the vaccine distributed and regaining consumer confidence to return to the activities they currently are avoiding. The rule in 2020 is the same in 2021. COVID policy is economic policy. And Morgan, uh, your interview uh, just before my report here, absolutely key to the economic outlook. Normally, we'd be talking to policymakers, talking about taxes, deficits, all that stuff that makes an economy grow. But now we're talking about the vaccine getting out. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.